Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett, and today I am going to get into a video, a review video on this particular product. And as far as things goes, uh, it is a indoor flexible clear antenna. Now you might be wondering why I'm reviewing this, and uh, I'll get into that in a second. But before I get into this review, I want to mention I did get this for free to review. So as far as that goes, um, uh, because it's a very basic product it's just you know it's a antenna you everybody knows what it does well as far as that goes i'm comparing it to a older antenna that i bought back in 2010 time frame and the price on it is uh it doubled since i bought it it was like 22 25 dollars something like that and it's basically doubled and um and it's uh, right now as you see it's it's more money than the actual antenna itself the, the one i'm reviewing the um and, and the funny thing with, with this is the uh old one that i bought has a tent up front and two antennas in the back and they extend and, and move around whatever the ones in the back whereas this uh the flexible clear thing it um and i'll have links down below all to this so you can check it out for yourself as far as the pictures and whatnot but it, it is what you see it, it doesn't look like it'll do much at all as far as compared to this the fact is, I was actually surprised about this. Even though this older product, it's double the price currently, and it has a lot more into it, hardware-wise. This, it, where, where I'm at now, it's able to pick up 50% more channels. That's quite a bit more. So, um, so basically, it does a lot better. And, and the form factor of it is fairly small. Now, as far as things goes, um, I'm not going to show any uh, pictures I've taken of the antennas simply because that the procs are right there and it's, it's straightforward. It's just an antenna. The box that the clear antenna came in was a uh, white box, a simple white box. And you'll find this in many online stores is they just use basic things like this instead of having a um, something that you have in the store which has advertisement on it. You can have something very basic because I mean it's a antenna. You see what he gets, and the thing that that comes in the box itself is the actual antenna itself, the uh, the screws, the anchors, the um, suction cups, and um and that that and, and the manual itself, and that's it. And and as you see here, you can see the manual and all that, and that that will be linked down below. So as far as that goes, um why am i reviewing this and uh what why many people will get some use out of this particular thing on a technology-based channel being a old stuff and, and by the way before i forget this only picks up but both antennas only pick up digital uh so so keep that in mind uh so they're hd and all that but um why am i reviewing this on a technology-based channel what well, the fact is, is uh, I don't know what the current number is, but a couple years back, only 13% uh, of American households did, did not have a TV, or at least uh, known as far as a satellite or any of these other things, cable, satellite, whatever. And um, the thing with antennas is, is if you haven't figured out your, for whatever reason, basically all you need is a TV, pretty much all modern TVs has the ability to hook up to an antenna and be able to scan the air uh, as far as you, figuring out what channels it best can see and, and allows you to select from there as far as uh, keeping the channel or not and, and, and goes from there. And, and some TVs even allow you to name the channel itself so instead of seeing the broadcast code. So with that, you basically just do one-time purchases one-time purchase of a tv which you're going to get anyways and one-time purchase of the actual antenna itself now if you want to take it a little bit step further where i like for myself where i got satellite tv something like this actually does come in handy for storms and such nature of that so for example if um there's a large overhead um like clouds and whatever overhead or the satellite goes out uh, for some reason, well, the antenna should 
theoretically still work. Obviously, if um, you know towers down or 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 uh, there's stuff blocking, then yeah, there's there's that. But um, theoretically, it it should work out through storms and stuff. Um, whereas satellite at this time can't. But I, I'm going to tell you right now. And a lot of people don't know this, but in about five years, that's going to be an obsolete statement. Um, there's some stuff that's going to be moved over into the civilian side, where even if you're in a concrete house, you can still get satellite signal and stuff like that. But um, that, that's going to take a little bit of time for that stuff to roll over to, to the civilian side. So um, note that that, it, that will become an obsolete uh saying to depend on whenever you're watching this so as far as that goes that's one thing and another thing is is back in the day the reason why i bought the first one in the first place is you can actually hook up the antenna to your computer and also if you have a set top box like a direct tv or whatever you can hook that up to your computer also um, given that you have multiple um, tv tuners you can actually hook up multiple devices and if you got a IR blaster for the set-top box so the computer can actually use the IR blaster to change the channel on the set-top box what you can actually do is have your actual computer as a DVR now yes many set-top boxes have DVR functionality into it. obviously a tenant doesn't so that's that's a little bit more advantage there but um, the thing that many set-top boxes don't have is um, a way for you to transfer the videos from one box to the next or be able to watch it overline or, or be able to just take it wherever you want. So with a, and, and I might make a video on this, I got to find a TV tuner that I was using. Um, there's better ones out there now so i might end up picking a narrow one unless if some company wants to have me review their intent but um as far as that goes w what you can do is you can actually have your computer set up uh that they keep on all the time or a lot of the time you can end up having it where you can actually watch tv through the computer to, obviously through a computer monitor or whatever but you can watch tv through it plus you can have it uh, where it records per per show, so you can set up depending on the software. Uh, if if it's able to grab the guide information, it will um, go ahead and record uh, whenever a show comes up. Uh, changes the channel automatically and do all that stuff like a normal DVR. The difference is it will save it as a depend on what you want it to save as a um wave file mp4 or whatever it that's really up on your head on what you want to save it as but it saves it as a video file the reason why this is important is because you can take the video file and have it where um it, depending on your data if you got unlimited data versus not if you got uh where you don't have to worry about data you can actually have it saved to something like Dropbox, and that way you can view it anywhere through that. Or you can use a, um, uh, there, there's several different programs out there, but basically you, you can remotely go into your computer uh, from, from your phone or whatever it may be, and watch it through there. Have it streamed through the internet through, through your computer and watch it through there. And watch it any time and don't have to worry about losing stuff obviously you got a memory thing right there because you know these some of the videos it, it will take up quite a bit of space especially over time but you can instead of oh my set top box broke and i lost all my recordings and settings it's going from that to oh um i'm switching computers and I'm able to transfer, m many programs allow you to transfer to settings, whatever. But no matter what, you can transfer the videos. So you don't have to worry about losing videos. And then if you got things like, um, I don't know, if, if, if a given video 
is um, like like I know with DirecTV because I that's what I got. If um, you record something, uh, s- some programs it can set where oh it will delete in so many days. It's usually on demand programs that do this. So it says HBO licensed or HBO done something on their end where Game of Thrones it will delete it after this given dates and it will warn you say hey you need to watch this before the given dates um, and that's more up to the channels itself than the actual set top box manufacturer uh, so it's licenses and all the other crap that goes into it but you don't have to worry about that because you can record a stuff and um, you know you're bypassing that altogether now uh, with that in mind I don't know how well this handles in legal terms but if you're not sharing the videos like say for example if you're recording i I don't game of thrones or or um, whatever else then you're you basically don't have to worry about like if, if you're recording that stuff and you're not sharing it you normally don't have to worry at all about um any legal problem i'm not saying that to do it um, but I'm also not saying not to do it. Um, just keep in mind that's on your head if uh, there is any legal backlash, uh, which I highly doubt. Again, I highly doubt because the only way they will know is if you're sharing the stuff and um, it links back to you. So as far as that goes, that, that's very important. Um, not only if, if um, you don't have TV in the first place, this is a great tool to use. Um you know, if, if, especially if you got a uh, DVR already that you can hook up to it. But even more so, this thing, the uh, the antennas, you can actually hook it up through a computer and um, record. And, and, and uh, actually, in some cases, you can actually see your what's going on in your antenna live. If, if you set up the right software on the computer, there's potential there that you can watch TV from your local area even though you're in the other side of the world um, again to legal and whatever you might have to do, to uh, worry about that if you share this stuff honestly if you're not sharing then I don't think there's going to be any problem at all um, there was never a problem for me because how are they going to know you're legally getting the TV shows and whatever and, and whatever but anyways, if you want me to cover that, um, I might do that in a future video. I, I just got to find my TV tuner or whatever. But this is actually a pretty good product to uh, to do that with. Um, but anyways, as far as that goes, uh, if you got any questions, anything else, then let me know. The uh, coax cable on it, real quick, is around uh, 10 foot. So I'll try to leave an annotation earlier onto that. But... Um, as far as that goes, everything else is, is there on that page. But if you've got any questions, anything else, to let me know, and I'll try and answer as quickly as possible. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.